It's good now. So it might be a little it might be a little loud at first, actually. We're gonna we're just gonna experience this together. The dialing in of the fixed guitar. You ready out there, John? Also, thanks to John for coming up here and helping me troubleshoot the whole thing. Getting his hands dirty in the trenches. All right. I'll take more up here, please. A little more. Okay, I'll try that. Is that too loud out there for you up here? All right. It's just that easy. Which, which we did before the show, you know, like real professionals do. And then when I got up here, it was messed up. But fix now. Welcome to the second set. Thanks for sticking around. We only lost a few people. They had played. No, I don't think we did. I'm going to start with this song called Ends Meet, which is a song about work. I'm not trying to make you think about work. But this is my job. And... Uh, Doing this as a job means you get to have a lot of other fun jobs to make it all work. And so I've done a lot of various other things. I've run some, uh, let's see, I milked some cows for a while. I bailed some hay. I, uh, I worked the uh, Pillsbury Strudel line uh, on the frosting division. I... I uh, I had to wear a beard net and steel-toed shoes and chainmail gloves because I was running the metal detector on the frosting. And if, if the metal detector went off, I had to just pull this big handle and then like one ton of frosting packets went into a dumpster and then I'd pull the handle again and the belt would go over and then it'd just start rolling by a million miles an hour. Another thing I did though was I, I printed raffle tickets for a while, which sounds easy, but it's a very high stress job. If you print the same number twice or you miss a number, all hell breaks loose. It can destroy a whole raffle. So I was running this printing press. It was a 1956 Heidelberg windmill letterpress printing press. And printing these raffle tickets for a pancake breakfast. And I wrote this song. Perpetuate the lie and sit and watch the numbers roll by. And I make myself stay chain to yet another day. It's all about trying to make ends meet. Stare until you go blind. Standing on your own two. Pushing through the daily grind well, I've got my nose to the grindstone and I've got my head in the game But I'd rather be somewhere with a pack on my back Finding shelter from the rain and I sit and watch my dog sleep Thinking about man and beast And how we're all just trying to behave So we can get a treat It's all about trying to make ends meet Staring till you go blind Standing on your own two feet Pushing through the daily grind yeah. You can lead this horse to water can't make me drink 
you can saddle up and ride Find your own kitchen sink And now we're off the subject Let's get back to this job at hand Just remember it could be worse It's not like you're playing a band it's all about trying to make ends meet But stare until you go blind Standing on your own two feet Pushing through the daily grind It's all about trying to make ends meet But stare until you go blind Standing on your own two feet Pushing through the daily grind Thank you very much. All right, I am going to draw the raffle now. Everybody have your raffle ticket? I should do raffles at shows. I don't know, I think about the poor bastard who has to print those tickets. <laughs> I couldn't do it. All right, this is a song called uh, The Blue Lights. I'm from Des Moines, just down the road. And uh, in Des Moines, when you grow up in Des Moines, if you want to go be alone with someone, you go to the Blue Lights. It's like, uh, used to be a parking lot by the airport where you could park and watch the planes fly over and the blue lights guided the planes in. It was a metaphor for all the youth sitting there in their cars. You guys probably have some place like that here, too. What do you call it in Sioux City? Nothing. Nobody wants to admit it. It's not a, there's not a dead end of the river or something? Or... Yep, see, somebody's got some. Somebody's brave enough to admit it. Okay, good. Well, anyway, in Des Moines, it's, it's the blue lights. And this is a song about it. It's going to get awkward if you're here with your parents. <laughs> Stolen keys to a borrowed car Old enough to go this far And no one comes around here To look at the stars Just the blue lights Bless you It's a black top road To a chain linked fence The mood was loose Your body was tense and Silhouette smile on your face Eclipsed by the blue lights just the blue lights Let the light Shine on me Let the light Shine on you So come with me To a private place Below the dash, don't show your face And move to me with a timid grace In the blue lights, just the blue lights It's a secret midnight rendezvous Pace yourself to keep the mood Then someone yells, hey, get a room Not the blue lights not the blue lights Let the light Shine On me Let the light Shine On you
Let the light shine on you. Let the light shine on me. Yeah. Let the light shine on you. Well, the lights are dim at the runway end. I wish I knew now what was new back then. But I wouldn't give to go back again to the blue lights, just the blue lights. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know why you guys are so uh, secretive about your secret places. Everywhere else I play, they, people start shouting out those places. Everybody's just more well behaved in Sioux City. <laughs> All right. How about this? Is another one off my solo record. This one is called Boy in a Bubble. I wrote this song because, well, I said I wouldn't write a COVID song because I figured there'd be plenty of them from other people who were locked in their houses. But then I couldn't help it, I wrote it. And uh, I'm not one who denies the songs that are given to me. So here it is. This is called Boy in a Bubble. I was a boy in a bubble when I was a little kid. Three, three and four years old. I, th I thought I was a boy in a bubble. I was really more just like a kid in an oxygen tent for short periods of time, but my memory of it is I was a boy in a bubble. Now, I think that my memory is mostly from that John Travolta movie in the 80s. <laughs> but some of it's true. Some of it's, you know, I made up, I guess. And uh, like my mom doesn't like this song because there's a line in it that says my mom and dad would come visit. And my mom's like, we never left your side. <laughs> but I remember they came and visited me sometimes. So anyway, this is Boy in a Bubble. I was a boy in a bubble The world made me cough and wheeze And a hospital staff would come visit Every time I sneezed And my mom and dad would come visit And reach through the tent with kid gloves I'd feel their touch in the warm embrace Through the plastic walls I'd feel loved And the boy in the bubble looked out on the scene And imagined a world that was just like his dreams Where the wind smelled like lilacs And both sides of grass was still green And if the room was this empty Could anyone else hear the scream? I was a boy in a bubble But only for a month or two And I'd lay there thinking that things could be worse Cause I had a room with a view And limitless bowls of ice cream Were passed to me on a tray And vitamin D in abundance Even when the skies were gray and the boy in the bubble looked out on the scene And imagined a world that was just like his dreams Where the wind smelled like lilacs On both sides the grass was still green And if the room was this empty Could anyone else hear the scream? And these days I ponder How it's just not that fair How death and destruction float right through the air how we pull all our handshakes and we mask all our fears and we keep our distance and pretend it's not weird and again I'm a boy in a bubble I'm sanitized and sheltered in place and 
I spend my days with my hand held And try not to touch my face Which is harder than you'd imagine Cause I haven't shaved in weeks So I strike a pose like the thinker And I gently stroke my cheeks Better to be safe than sorry And it's worse to be dead than alive So I'll crawl back inside my bubble And I'll do my best to survive Thank you. You guys remember when um, it was not safe to touch your own face with your own hand? I actually have not heard if we are in the clear from that yet or not. We are? As of today. <sighs> no, I, uh, I, took it, I took it pretty darn seriously. And I, so much so that instead of just staying home and not playing shows, I just bought a camper van and asked people if I could play in their backyard, socially distanced for small private groups. And then I did 100,000 miles in 2020 and 2021. And it was, it was a blast. And everybody was safe. And, you know, for the most part, people were very responsible. There were a few times where people got too drunk and then they'd pass around, like, boxes of wine and stuff. But that was not my fault. Well, that's, I also heard that, yeah, unless you touch your face. Um, anyway, I do not mean to belittle it. I know it's very serious. I know a lot of people... Suffered. I suffered a little so much so that I wrote a song I didn't want to write. Anyway, this next song um, is on my solo record. I have a younger brother. His name's Ben. And uh, Ben spent most of his adult life as a like outdoor guide, fly fishing guide, hunting guide. And then he sort of evolved into a spiritual guide and became a shaman. Which is fun. That's fun to have in your family. He, um, he is a, a very in intuitive, well-read, uh, thoughtful, empathetic, is that the right word? Person. He also can read tarot cards. And if he doesn't have tarot cards, he'll read playing cards in a pinch. <laughs> and he rolls his own cigarettes. And if he doesn't have tarot cards or playing cards... He just takes the tobacco and goes like this into the wind, and then that tells him the same stuff. Amazing. It is. You guys should meet him. I hope you get to sometime. He's Star Pilgrim 777 on Instagram. So when I started traveling around in my van, he thought that seemed like a good idea, and he wanted to go travel around in a van, but he didn't have a van or a car. So I loaned him an old band van, 2002 Ford Econoline. 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel, sweet van. And I went down to his farm that he had at the time in East Peru, Iowa. It's spelled like Peru, but it's pronounced Peru. And I gave him the, the van keys, and he reached in his pocket and pulled out a rock and handed me the rock. And I thought, that's weird. Why do you have a rock in your pocket? And he said, it's Jasper. You need it on your journey. It'll keep you safe. And I said, well, don't you need it on your journey? I mean, I'm loaning you the band van. And he said, no, and he reached in his pocket and he pulled out handfuls of rocks, both pockets. <laughs> and I thought, okay, he's covered. And since then, you can see in our van, we have a little medicine bag hanging from the rear view mirror and he changes out the rocks and recharges them every time and there's all kinds of rocks in there, tourmaline and... Do you know my brother? The tourmaline apparently helps the, with the, the electronics. Okay. Do you have any rocks in your pocket right now? Okay. Usually somebody does. Okay. There we go. So the song's for you. So this is called Pocket Every Stone. It's for rock hounds and crystal gazers and truth tellers and fortune tellers and shaman. Turquoise and Jasper 
rose quartz and gold Days they tumble faster Too young to be the soul Amethyst and topaz Apache tear and jade Keep these stones here in your pocket Follow the path they say Dogs are mad today Another bone drug my way Hold it up to mask your face they say Probably found it in the ditch no idea which is which It'll do to scratch this itch They say And they say The past goes on forever They say The future is unknown Except to those of us Who stand together Except to those Who pocket every stone It's time to leave this land Maybe ride for another brand Turn the car, don't show your hand They say It's time to hit the road It's time to lighten my load It's time to leave this place They say And they say The past goes on forever They say The future is unknown Except to those of us who stand together Except to those who pocket every stone And the spirits, they do move you And the rocks, they weigh you down So you keep them in your pocket And you try not to drown well, Smoke them if you got them Stay still in quicksand Cause you can't hit rock bottom If you hold them in your hand And they say the past goes on for they say the future is unknown Except to those of us who stand together Except to those who pocket every stone They say the past goes on forever They say the future is unknown Except to those of us who stand together Except to those who pocket every stone Except to those who pocket every stone Except to those who pocket every stone Thank you. That one's on my solo record twice. I don't know. I don't know if any if that's something you're supposed to do or not, but I did. I recorded it with uh, the first three songs are with some some van friends of mine that work for the company that built that van, including the CEO. And he was channeling Mark Knopfler when he recorded that song. It was so good. But then I had this the, this other like session guys playing with me for the next seven songs. And I was like, I got to hear what this guy does with the song. So it's on there twice. You can just pick your favorite and just listen to the one you like. It's okay. <laughs> All right, how you guys doing? <laughs> I, got, I got some more songs. I just, uh, priority number one is I want to leave you wanting more. So I'm keeping an eye on all of you to see when you start getting wiggly. This one's a, this is a song about some bootleg whiskey they make just east of here. Uh, oh, I'm not supposed to say what it is, it's just a secret. This is a song about some whiskey you have to know somebody who knows somebody. In fact, in, in this town, 
multiple times, people have brought samples of the bootleg stuff in their back pocket or in large paper bags. <clears throat> one of them, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but one of them, I believe, was a sheriff. What? I don't know. This was a long time ago. I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's gone by now. I don't Now I'm going to get pulled over. He's going to be pissed. Okay, good. All right, anyway. So this is about Templeton Rye, the bootleg stuff, not the stuff that you get at Target or whatever. Um, for the longest time, people would bring samples here in Sioux City and other, other towns in the Carroll County area and the surrounding contiguous counties and then the counties next to those. If we were playing those places, people would have bootleg whiskey. So uh, it would always come, or that's another term for it. It would always come with a story. So it'd be like, hey, I got something you gotta try. And then we'd try it and then, you know, you could see our eyes roll back in our head or our fingertips catch on fire. And they'd be like, ah, uh, yeah, now let me tell you about that. And so people would talk, talk to me about their great aunts and their <clears throat> great grandpas and, the place they found on their farm that was dug out and, and covered with disguise, all those things. And I started getting obsessed with these stories. So one time when someone's like, yeah, my great aunt Helen, she used to bootleg it when she was a little girl with her parents. I was like, Where, where's your great aunt Helen now? And then they, they would say, well, she's over there at the Restful Manor. And I would say, does she accept visitors? And this is just for an example. But I spent hours in dozens of nursing homes in this uh, Carroll County and surrounding county areas talking to people and getting them to tell me their story about Templeton Rye. So this song is 90 minutes. The song is 3 minutes 30 seconds but all the little details came from somebody telling me something. Born in a cloud of dust it broke the best of us sweating poverty it was a desperate time Then they took our drink away How are we supposed to live that way? Nothing takes away the pain Like Templeton Rye So let the barn burn Let the band play Everything will be okay Cause when your mouth gets dry Fill my cup Templeton Rye Bag of sugar and a bushel of grain Everyone's praying for rain Revenue is poured down the drain So we start from scratch 30 feet of a copper pipe 100 gallons cooking overnight Make sure it tastes just right Start another batch So let the barn burn Let the lovers dance it's a state fair romance It's when your mouth gets dry Fill my cup With Templeton Rye on our own in the basement of our home sell a little bit to Al Capone the guy's got a mean thirst take the rest to the river house bar out in back of the heater farm a pretty girl walking on my arm guided by the moonlight so let the barn burn let the band play everything will be okay when your mouth gets dry Fill my cup With Templeton Rye Fill my cup With Templeton Rye When your mouth gets dry Fill my cup With Templeton Rye
Well, thank you very much. I like to sometimes, or maybe even every time, follow that song with this song. This song's called Drink It Till It's Gone. And uh, it just seems appropriate. Because what I learned after I wrote that song about Templeton Rye is that sometimes magic happens. And I wrote a song about whiskey, and then all of a sudden, that company wrapped our bus and filled our bays with whiskey for like five years. <laughs> and there you go, cheers. And when all you all were waiting in line at a, a liquor store trying to get on the list to get your one bottle every six months or something, I had a bay of my bus full of whiskey. So it was habit forming. And uh, what I learned was that we would, um, we'd usually go through a bottle a show, sometimes two bottles a show. But what we didn't do is we never left any in a bottle. So we'd get to the end and then we'd say, all right, we gotta play drink until it's gone. Doesn't matter how much was left. And uh, what I learned was if you let it sit there empty for a half hour, and then you pick it up and you turn it upside down, and you pull and twist like you're milking a cow, you get 18 more drops out every time, every time. So then I wrote this song. Well, I know it's getting late. I need something to set me straight It's gonna teach me to clean my plate and Wash it away And it's not all fun and games Inside the pleasure hides the pain Sometimes it shines, sometimes it rains Wash it away Wash it away Raise your glass and drink it till it's gone. Raise your glass and drink it till it's gone. Is it the flavor or the taste? Is it the victory or the chase? Sometimes it all seems like such a waste. Wash it away. You know I might not be that good I don't face it like I should But I'm getting better, knock on wood And wash it away Wash it away Raise your glass And drink it till it's gone Raise your glass and drink it till it's gone And who they're gonna bury me with my boots on And who I'm gonna take it like a man And who with every sunset comes a new dawn And who I'm gonna get some while I can Get some Get some And so you run and dive right in You let the water touch your skin and a higher power forgive your sin and wash it away wash it away raise your glass and drink it till it's gone I forgot to tell you there's choreography to this raise your glass there it is and drink it till it's gone just like that Raise your glass and drink it till it's gone. Last time. Raise your glass and drink it till it's gone.
till it's gone. Thank you, and thank you for participating. Appreciate that very much. Hey, thanks for coming. Thank you. I saved all the good songs till last. Yeah. But I'm definitely leaving them wanting more. I mean, I hope. Am I leaving you wanting more? We'll see you next time. Leaving you wanting more. Okay, good. All right. Well, now that they're gone, you guys ready to... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to do a song called The River. I'm going to dedicate it to my friend who's here from that I grew up spending my summers in Okaboji with. Because even though it's a song called The River, it's actually about a lake. I just, I just, what's that? He loved it? Well, good. I'll also dedicate it to you. You guys can share. Yeah. So it's a song full of true stories. Um, I wrote it in Prairie Dog City, South Dakota. No, I didn't. But it's about Okaboji, it's about, you know, young love. It's not about my friend, I'm saying, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, we grew up hanging out there. But it's about young love and Okaboji. And I just changed, I shifted the details around a little bit to protect the innocent so nobody would know where it is or what it's about. So it's called The River. There's also a line in the song about playing the card game uh, Spades, but we were playing gin. And... Uh, there's a line in the song about lemonade, but we were drinking limeade before it was cool. Hand squeezed. And there's a line in the song about smoking cloves. So, this is, uh, this is the river. Fahrenheit 103. Numbers fade on the LCD. Sweat moves in some kind of parade Lock my face into my lemonade well, I can't move but I can't stay Just waiting for a breeze to come my way So I search for some kind of cool Swirling waters of a river pool. I'm going down to the river. I'm gonna shake and shiver. I'm gonna roll in the water. I'm gonna take your daughter. I'm going down to the river. I'm gonna shake and shiver. Tires swinging an old oak tree Sweet honey from a honeybee Muddy shoes in a game of spades Some have left and some have stayed Poker face smoking clothes One more hand you lose your clothes your clothes and take my hand It's more heat than a man can stand I'm going down to the river I'm gonna shake and shiver I'm gonna roll in the water I'm gonna take your daughter me wonder about this love made in the summer if it's ever gonna last 
Once this heat wave is passed So let's take our time It's your body fine and mine Take a chance and jump right in Let's see if we both can swim I'm going down to the river I'm going to shake and shiver I'm going to roll in the water I'm going to take your daughter I'm going down to the river I'm going to shake and shiver I'm going to roll in the water I'm going to take your daughter Thank you very much. All right, what do you guys think? Do you have time for a couple more? Yeah. Cool. Now that we got those, now that we got those guys out of here. Nice. Congrats. All right. No, but I think I'd like to do that song. Thanks for bringing it up. I think I'd like to end with that one. So now I just need one more in between. Is there anything that somebody wanted to hear that they didn't get to hear yet tonight? Okay. I just need to see a list of those songs. Uh, yeah, I can do that. That'd be fun. Thank you for the request. Is that off new start? All right. Great. Well, we got the plan for the rest of the evening. I'm going to do this song. Then I'm going to do that song. And uh, thank you guys for having me here. I'm not saying goodbye yet. I'm just saying. This song is a... Uh, I was an anthropology major in college. This song is what I did with my degree. This is a cultural ethnology of the Tarahumara people of northern Mexico. The word Tarahumara means foot runner. And they call themselves that because they're really good runners. Makes sense. For the trivia people out there, this song was Runner World Magazine, Runner's World Magazine, 2006. One of the top 10 best songs to run to. That's what made me famous. I think the thing was, if you're running, I'm not a runner. I don't know if you guys are runners, but if you're running and you hear the chorus of this song, which says, run, run, run in place, run, run, run in place, over and over again, I don't think that'd be a good song to run to. But I'm not Runner's World magazine. So this is about the Tara Humara. Way down in Mexico, they live in the rocks where the winds don't blow Way up in the Sierra Madres Discovered by Jesuit Padres They live like they did before in simple homes With a cold dirt floor They live like they have for years They don't share our fears And they run They run in place They run on the canyon walls At their own pace they run, they run in place, they run for a thousand years, they run in place. So we try to teach them better, try to make them civilized. Show them how to live the right way Take their hands and we tell them lies Bring them drugs for the deaths we gave them Medicine the American way Then we make them carry ours on the back 
Mexican minimum wage they run they run in place run on the canyon walls their own pace they run run they run in place they run for a thousand years they run in place I learned about the Tarahumara people when I was on a backpacking trip down in the Barrancas del Cobre, the Copper Canyon of Mexico. Copper Canyon's like the Grand Canyon, but four times the size of the Grand Canyon. When we started our hike, it was snowy up top and cold. We were wearing mittens. By the time we got to the bottom, there were like parrots flying around and fruit in the trees. We were walking around in shorts. And I learned about these people, the Tarahumara, the ghosts of the canyon. They kind of kept to themselves and they tried to stay hidden so they could do it the way they wanted to, you know? They didn't have to adapt to the culture that was creeping up around them. So even though we were hiking for seven days, we only saw glimpses of them every once in a while. We were walking right through their land and we were following a hand-drawn map that a, a nun, a monastery drew for us because there weren't any other maps available down there. I said seven days, it was supposed to take four. But we eventually, we got to Bato Pilas, the bottom of the canyon. And I came out learning about these people and I thought, I, I gotta write a song about this. And a few years after I was there, there was another group of Americans down there in this part of Mexico and they saw these people running and they thought, damn, those guys are good runners. I bet we could get Nike to sponsor them. So they brought four Tarahumara back to the US to run a race called the Leadville 100, which is a 100 mile race at 14,000 feet. You laugh, but I'm serious. And all these uh, all these people running this 100-mile race at 14,000 feet, and they saw these Tarahumara guys, and they're like, oh, man, those are the Tarahumaras. I think they're fast. They're going to kick our asses. And Nike, they made special shoes for them called Air Humaras. You can still get them on eBay. They gave them polar fleece jackets so they'd be warm at night. Gave them headlamps so they could see in the dark. And they said, go out there and win this race. Make us proud. And all the Americans were watching these guys run, and they're like, wow. They are good runners, but they're kind of clumsy. And they were falling down. They are tripping over little things in the trail, and they were falling behind. And before you knew it, they were at the back of the pack, and then they disappeared. People are like, where are the Tarahumaras? And Nike was like, what the hell? This isn't gonna sell shoes. So they pulled these guys aside and they said, come on, what's going on? You're supposed to be good runners. We made special shoes for you. These four Tarahumara guys, they took off their Air Humaras and they put on sandals that they made out of leather and recycled tires. They took off their headlamps so they could see in the dark and they lit torches with an open flame. They started at the back of the pack and they made their way to the front of the pack and then they got first through fourth. And I know you guys are thinking this story sounds far-fetched and maybe too convenient, just fits in the song like that. But about 15 years after I was down there and I saw these people and I wrote this song and then Nike got these guys to run this race, this guy wrote a book about it called Born to Run. Yeah, yeah. and then I was like, see, I told you. Instead, I wrote this three-minute song that has now turned into a 15-minute song. We're just mad because they don't need us. We think that everybody needs us. Maybe we should pay attention. Could be worth our own prevention. 
As they live like they did before in simple homes with a cold dirt floor. And they live like they have for years. They don't share our fears. And they run, run. They run in place. They run on the canyon walls at their own pace. And they run, run. They run in place. They run for a thousand years. They run in place. And they run, they run. They run in place. They run on the canyon walls at their own pace. And they run, they run. They run in place. They run for a thousand years. They run in place. Thank you. Is that the song you wanted to hear? Little did you know that it was going to be 15 minutes long. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play one more. It was pre-planned. And then I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for your time and attention and accolades. And, and thank, thank you guys for creating such a wonderful listening space for music. That's very awesome. You guys are lucky to have this in your town. You should come here every night they have music. All right. This song's called Water in the Fuel. It's on my record, but I didn't write it. And uh, it's uh, by a guy named Fred Eaglesmith. And while I didn't write it, I've lived it. So I don't know. Any of you guys drive diesel vehicles? Well, if you have a diesel vehicle and you get water in the fuel, it's bad. It can happen from, uh, you know, contamination or condensation or people peeing in there after your shows, things like that. Yeah, that's what happened to us. What's that? You're, oh, I didn't, I wasn't accusing you guys. Also, I now have a gas vehicle. Pee away. <laughs> so, yeah, we had our, uh, we used to drive around a meatloaf sold tour bus It had three million miles on it when we got it. It was an 85 Eagle. And we one time in Denver played a show, left from Denver, rolled down the hill towards Iowa and made it about, I don't know, 300 miles before it broke down. And it was because it had water in the fuel. And that's when I remembered all those guys after the show standing around the fuel tank with like grins on their faces. Anyway, again, I didn't write this song, but I've lived it. This is uh, Water in the Fuel. Darling, I've been coming down over route number 67. Just got off the turnpike, avoiding the Ohio State inspection. Johnny Law followed me up the road. Then he turned back and he let me go I guess this old truck ain't worth shutting down And your voice last night on the telephone Said you wouldn't be there when I get home So when I get to Cleveland, I'm gonna head back south And the light keeps coming on I've got water and the fuel My brakes are gone I've got a left front tire that's throwing thrift By tomorrow morning I could be dead Baby, maybe you've been right all along Baby, maybe you've been right all along Said you couldn't stay With the one who was always gone away And all you wanted to do was to settle down You wanted to buy that little trailer 
had on the edge of the money you were saving with a carport and a color TV. No place to turn around, and the light keeps coming on. I've got water and the fuel, and my brakes are gone. Whoa, whoa. I've got a left front tire that's throwing thread. By tomorrow morning, I could be dead. Baby, maybe you've been right all along. Maybe you've been right all along. Remember that winter when the lake froze over? We drove out there after we unloaded. We wrapped up. Spun it round and round Then we left it idle Out on that ice We crawled in the sleeper I held you tight Looks like we're on Thin ice now Looks like we're on Thin ice now And the light keeps coming on I've got water and the fuel My brakes are gone, whoa, whoa I've got a left front tire that's throwing thread By tomorrow morning I could be dead Baby, maybe you've been right all along Baby, maybe you've been right all along Maybe, maybe you've been right all along. Long, long, long. All right, thank you guys very much. Appreciate you listening.